Dear friends, today in one class we will discuss the whole syllabus of 12th. In the 11th class, throughout the 11th class, we discuss only about mechanics. But in 12th class, we will start from electric and in the middle, optics and the last part is modern things. The whole 12th class syllabus divides in three parts electric, middle part is optics, and the last part is modern physics. So, first we come to chapter 1. The so chapter 1 is electric charge and field. Electric charge and field. So in this chapter we will discuss about only charge at rest not about charge in motion only charge at rest. So this is the first chapter and second chapter second chapter is this is the first chapter second chapter is potential and capacitance this both chapters actually including electrostatics here also we discuss about the potential and capacitance same thing about the, the charge at rest chapter 3 is current electricity now the charge starts moving in current electricity. First two chapters charge remain at rest. Third chapter charge now moves. So current flows. These three chapter three chapters contribute in board exam total sixteen mark. Total mark in the board exam is sixteen mark. These first two chapters should be completed before summer vacation. And this current LLC chapter will start after summer vacation that is June 19 or 20. So then come to the fourth chapter. Now about electric current, it's over. We will come to the magnet. Mag electromagnetism or this is called moving charge moving charge and magnetism here we discuss you know when current passes through a conductor the conductor gives like a magnet that one we will discuss in this chapter then come to chapter number 5 here we will discuss about the original magnet this chapter is magnetism and matter here we will discuss about the original magnet how earth behaves like a huge magnet geomagnetism like these things then come to chapter number 6 about electric up to chapter 3 over chapter 4 and 5 this is about magnet. Now we will discuss the combination of electricity and magnetism. So in chapter 4 we discuss how electric current behaves like magnet. But in chapter 6 we will discuss how that electric current is produced due to magnet. This chapter is EMI. Electromagnetic induction that you may might have heard in class lower classes that uh, SC generator how electric current is produced so electromagnetic induction Faraday's law all these things in this chapter the seventh chapter is SC alternating current when current produced in this EMI chapter about the current the current which passes which flows in our home so this alternating current 
will discuss. That is the chapter number seven. So these four chapters, four, five, six, seven. These chapters gives you total seventeen mark in the board examination. So this is about chapter seven. Now we we'll come to chapter number eight. Chapter number eight is E M W electro magnetic wave. In class eleventh, what was the last chapter? Last chapter was wave. At that time, I had told you that wave some part we have completed in class eleventh, and some part is kept for class twelfth, and this is the wave. The rest portion of uh, your wave chapter of class eleventh, electromagnetic wave, but it's a non-mechanical wave. The all type of waves, uh, gamma ray, your microwave, visible light, all this belongs in this electromagnetic wave part. So this one we will discuss in chapter eight. It's a very small chapter of maximum one class or two class chapter. It's a very small one chapter, and with this chapter you. Book one will go over in chapter eight. Now we we'll come to chapter number nine. But when chapter eight will complete, this is a demarcation of uh, happy examination. But in some schools also, in chapter nine happy exam after completion of chapter nine happy exam happens. In some schools, in chapter number eight happy exam happens. So chapter number nine. Now the correct. Margaret, everything is over. Chapter number nine, little easy question now start. This is ray optics. Ray optics. In this chapter, we we'll discuss about light. What you have already read in class tenth. It is an easy chapter. It has no relation with other eight chapters. In ray optics chapter, we we'll discuss your Reflection phenomenon, refraction phenomenon, diffraction phenomenon. That prism. We'll discuss some optical instruments. This is ray optics chapter. But human eye is not included in our twelfth class syllabus. Again, I'm repeating, human eye is not included in twelfth class syllabus, which was a major portion in class tenth. Then now come to wave optics. This is completely new chapter for you. You are not read a single thing of wave optics in class tenth. And these three, it's a big portion. So this contributes major contribution for the board examination, and the mark is eighteen. Major contribution from this. It's a numerical best part. Ray optics is a numerical best part. Always in board examination, from ray optics, first numericals generally comes, which is difficult for the students. You remember, numericals from ray optics and wave optics are generally difficult for students in the board examination. Every year this happens. Also this year in 2000, just recently, 20 board examination. The numerical from ray optics was difficult for the students. Was the most difficult question. So now come to chapter number eleven. Chapter number eleven. Now from chapter number eleven, the modern physics start, and onwards, the topics are little easy, and mark fetching also. Chapter number eleven will be discussed about. Dual nature. Dual nature. This is also totally new chapter for you, modern physics. How object has two nature. Everybody has two nature. You know that electron is part particle, but actually electron is a particle as well as electron is a wave. Electron also is a wave; it's not only a particle. So this thing you will hear 
in dual lecture chapter. Next is chapter number 12. It's a very easy chapter. Only we have read this chapter in class 11th. Chemistry teachers have already taught to you this chapter. The chapter is, you can guess, that is atom. What will be taught in atom? You know Thomson's model. You know Rutherford's model that alpha particle scattering experiment. You know Bohr's model. Different series, Lyman, Balmer, Parsen, chapter 1. It's a very easy chapter. Already this chapter you have completed in class 11th in atomic structure of chemistry. Very easy chapter this one. Chapter number 13. This is nuclei. About nucleus we'll discuss. About nucleus we'll discuss in this chapter. This is nuclei. Inside the atom, you know, all the masses are concentrated at a point called as nucleus. So we'll discuss about the nucleus in this chapter. From this chapter, always one numerical come in the board examination, which is difficult for the students to attend. I have told you, from ray optics, Hertz numericals comes, from nuclear, so always numerical comes, which becomes difficult for the students to attend. So this is the nuclear. And these three, these three and the last chapter, this is the last chapter, 14. This is the semiconductor. Semiconductor. This is actually totally new branch of the physics. This is including physics, but actually this branch has its own identity. This is higher physics called as electronics. Now this is the heart of physics. It's a very demanding branch. No, when you go to uh, for engineering, you might have heard the different branches: electrical and electronics. Electrical means First chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, those chapters electrical. Okay. Then electronics is the last one. This is the electronics. Also, you might have heard electronics and telecommunication. Also, you might have heard electronics and instrumentation. So, this is a small chapter. This is a small chapter actually. This chapter gives you many branches in engineering. In engineering, this chapter has a major role. It is a major role in engineering. It is a very demanding branch, most job providing branch, as well as it is also a difficult chapter in class 12, semiconductor. But it is a difficult question is omitted from your syllabus previous year. You will see your NCT book, many things are there, but that is easy in NCT book, but not in syllabus. Many questions are not in syllabus. Or to what any syllabus when this chapter will come, I will tell you at that time. These three chapters, dual nature, atom, nuclei, gives 12 marks for board examination. It's contribution 12 marks. This only one small chapter has contribution of 7 marks. So this is all about the whole syllabus of class 12. Now I tell you, now your total mark you will add, now it become total 70 mark. Total is now 70 mark. But how the questions comes to the exam, what is the question pattern? You have already applied class 11. In annual exam, you know the question pattern. Still I am telling you the question pattern. Total mark is 70. Question number 1 to 10. 1 to 10. This is multiple choice questions. Multiple choice questions will come 1 to 10. One option will be correct. Not more than two, more than one option. Only one option is correct in this. Multiple choice questions. And in this questions, this previous board exam we saw. Only conceptual questions comes. Conceptual means what? Conceptual understanding based questions. Very less remembering type questions comes. Actually, what is this? What does it mean? No numerical, this in 2020 board exam, no numerical came in this type of question. Not a single digital was there. Only words. 
only concepts. If you are listening in the class properly, then only you can attend this one to ten questions. They are not any very difficult numerical type question. Not a single question was formula based also in the previous 2020 board exam, which just before some days your seniors appeared. But it was in a confusion. What type of MCQ questions come in the board exam? But it become clear. Not a single numerical based questions came in the previous year. In 2020, first time this is applied. Then, so this is total becomes 10 mark. Then 11 to 15. This is MCQ. This is fill in the blank. Fill in the blank type question. Only one word you have to write the answer. In board exam while writing, you will write the only the answer word. It is not required to copy the whole question. Only the answer is right. This is five mark. Then sixteen to twenty. This is one sentence or one word type also question comes. Maybe small small numerical will be asked here. And this is also five mark. These three now total twenty marks. This is called very short answer questions. Very short answer type questions. Now come to after twenty one to we'll see now seven questions will be asked up to twenty seven. You will find seven questions. One question is of two mark. If one question is of two mark, seven into two it becomes totally fourteen mark. This is two marks type questions. This is called as essay, short answers questions. Then twenty eight to thirty four. Twenty eight to thirty four. This is three marks questions. Three marks questions total seven questions. Three into seven it comes twenty one. This is called long answer one type questions. These seven questions of a three marks are crucial because in these generally board gives difficult questions, difficult numericals, as well as derivations. Some derivations will come, maybe one or two derivations will come here in the three marks questions. Then thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, three questions, five marks. They are the long questions. Okay, you will get total fifteen mark. Mm. This is called long answer type two. So if you will add all these, now total you will get seventy mark. We see the total in board exam you get in theory seventy marks paper. And practical you have thirty marks. Total physics you have hundred marks. So today I discuss now in this video the whole syllabus of class twelfth, the question pattern what will come in the board examination. So today we have to know the question pattern because actually we will get there. So one day, so in one video we complete our syllabus. So from the next video we we'll start our revision. Okay. so we we'll start our revision from the next video thank you